see, the thing is, is sometimes something doesn't make sense that day, but then like two years later, I'll remember that beat and go back to that beat and it'll be perfect. Put your back, put your butt in it Wanna love you, but I do not wanna commit So I then twitch you with the thought that was fucking weekend And I feel like wanna find a quarter corner pocket So I teach you up for just a bit Buy your drink and have a sip Then I tell you we should get You grabbing me close and closer till you get a kiss Yeah, shop your bar to the left desk Now we in the car with a rope break Like, think about the ass, the leg, the hand, the sex The whip, the figure for leave, like then we did Do you say water, water question like why is it like when you're trying to be on that health journey it's always somebody trying to like throw all this stuff at you and once like you want some chips you want a sandwich you want you want a candy bar you want this you want that i'm like i know you see me eating a certain way why are you asking me if i want a bag of chips or some ice cream like are you are you not paying attention or you just don't care or you're just trying to really get me off my shit like do y'all have people around you that do that like they see you eating a certain way and they offer you junk food like are you okay <laughs> i don't know y'all y'all tell me yes yeah, so another thing with me i struggle with um depression <laughs> And sometimes it causes me to be a mess, literally, mentally, and, like, physically. <laughs> so, I was like, you know what? Let me just clean up my room, organize my room instead of doing my hit and cardio. Because I just really needed to get that done. You know how, you know, the new year comes. You just, you really want to set the tone. Like, I know people are like, oh, whatever. You know, you always start off in the new year and you fall up like no sometimes you really do gotta set the tone and i feel like once you start to put in play and you see the results i think it motivates you to keep going and like honestly it's been like seven days and my room is still clean <laughs> so a win is a win right a, a win is a win <laughs> hello y'all what is up i know i've been gone for a little bit not for a little bit just like for a day honestly but yeah today is thursday january 5th it's almost 8 o'clock it's 10 58 a.m and i just got home from work i am about to um go and make me some real quick and then i'm gonna head to the grocery store because i want to get a little bit of things to have for the week for my work week and whatnot uh, so that way I have to figure out like what I'm going to eat today, what I'm going to eat tomorrow, what I'm going to eat for the next day. And I want to do that really quickly before I go to the gym. Because yesterday, I was still today, I'm just like, I feel so like, so stiff and sore and hurty. <laughs> because if I have to be honest, y'all, like I'm so like all over the place. <laughs> my room is never clean. It's never clean. Um, So I took the time to clean my room. I made my bed. I wrote a part of myself. I even laid out my workout clothes. Let me show y'all.
yes so i laid out my workout clothes and y'all i always anytime i travel somewhere i always get like a a tourist shirt so like when i went to jamaica i got me a shirt and then as you can see when i went to aruba about the fall <laughs> i got me a shirt so i usually like to use those to like work out in and then like you know to you know just something to throw on when i'm going to work yeah so let me hurry up and start um uh, rambling i think i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna make me something to eat really quick because i hate going to the store hungry and i don't want to be hungry going to the store because y'all already know how it is when y'all grocery shop and y'all haven't ate anything you be shopping for your stomach and not for what you need in the house if that makes sense yeah so let's go make some breakfast i know what y'all thinking i know you're like oh what the hell is that but i promise you it was so delicious it was so good it was giving tex-mex um like omelet scramble thing yeah don't talk about my cooking okay because the shit be fire i know it looks crazy on camera but i promise you like it, it, it honestly it goes down looking that way anyway so yeah mm -hmm. but i'm making like um i have like leftover chicken steak and fajita veggies from like the taco night that me and my family had the other day and i just uh, scrambled some eggs and poured it on top it added my cheese and made me like a little egg scramble i love any type of like egg scramble whether it's with sausage bacon chicken steak some type of veggies and some cheese like yeah it's not necessarily an omelet because i don't make it i don't fold it like an omelet because i'm too lazy and too hungry and not focused but yeah egg scrambles if you don't know how to make an omelet just make an egg scramble it's still the same thing honestly <laughs> Turn the camera on and he go away. Every day. Every day. You gonna do this every day? Mm -hmm. He acting like, I don't know what you talking about, girl. You talking about <laughs> you every day. Every day. This what he's sitting at every day. Right. He like, girl, I don't even know what you're talking about right now. <laughs> yeah, every day. I cannot. I can't eat in peace, no. Only real Virgos know you can never go to a grocery store without making a grocery list. Like, are you really a Virgo if you don't have a grocery list? <laughs> but yeah, like, I have to have a grocery list because I will forget. It, it it never fails. I will forget something, and I think I didn't. I think I did end up getting forgetting something. But yeah, make your grocery list on your notes, y'all. You can add the little bubbles. You can check it off. It's real cute, real simple, real easy, real straight to the point. So that way you know for sure that you're gonna get everything you need. All right, so I kind of have an idea of what I want to eat throughout the week i made like a little list let me just go over it real quick because i think i missed some stuff i think oh child's 8 39 let me hurry up all right vamanos let's go everybody let's go <laughs> so corny all right y'all let's head to the grocery store y'all let me tell you i can only go to the grocery store early in the morning because it'd be too crowded throughout the day but yeah green apples are like the only apples that i enjoy any other apple just nasty and honestly the trick to picking a mango is making sure it's green and soft green and soft just remember that yeah i've been loving mangoes i mean who don't like mangoes if you don't 
be grow up <laughs> and y'all i wanted to make some cauliflower rice fried rice but yeah make sure you get green onions if you don't get anything for your rice get green onions for sure mm -mm -mm. that popcorn is smelling too good and yeah y'all um go to your seafood and meat counter and get your meats ain't nothing wrong with that i'm telling you it you know at least you can literally pick it out and you'll package it and weigh it and all that stuff yeah do that for yourself but if not, get frozen meat. Ain't no wrong with that either because I, I damn sure got frozen meat. Because they had no chicken breasts. And I'm just like, you know what, fuck it. But never again will I get frozen chicken breasts. <laughs> yes, yo. And definitely make sure you get your necessities. Don't be afraid to get the store brand. You don't always got to get Clorox, y'all. And y'all, this is the best creamer ever. But don't listen to me because I just be talking, but... It's the best creamer, I promise you. And um, don't front up your face at frozen vegetables because me, um, sometimes vegetables go to waste in my house. That's just me. But if they're frozen, they last a little bit longer. So that's the trick. Like, work at your own budget and your own way of thinking and cooking. Like, you don't have to get everything fresh if you don't want to. You don't have to get everything frozen if you don't want to. You don't have to get everything canned if you don't want to. But if you want it canned frozen, who the fuck to tell you not to get it? But yeah, get it. Get it, get it, get it. As I promise you, it tastes the same. And um, definitely have to get some yogurt because I just love yogurt. Greek yogurt, regular yogurt. I just like it. It's a good snack. And I personally like the Dan and Light and Fit Greek yogurt. It's really good. And then I got to get some cream cheese because, you know, the cream cheese is critical for everything that I eat in life. <laughs> it is shredded cheese. I know some people like their cheese, like, freshly shredded, but nobody got time for that. Get you some shredded cheese. If you want to shred it yourself, then, then do that. But over here, um, we do shredded cheese. No shame in my game. And then last but least, got to get some snacks, some protein snacks. And my favorite protein snack is the tuna package. Now, I honestly, I'm so weird. Like, I hate tuna salad. Like, I don't hate it, but it's not my favorite. But I will eat the tuna in a packet as long as it got some type of seasoning. I usually get the ranch ones, which I think they ended up, they did have it. Yeah, I got it. You know, so yeah, uh, tuna package is like my favorite, like, protein snack. Because, yeah, we want to make sure we're getting enough protein. Period. Now, let's go. I'm tired as hell, okay? I just got back from the grocery store. But, y'all, tell me why um, grocery shopping is super fucking expensive. So, with all the items that I got, I got 30 items in total. And my total was $98 and... 38 cent um yeah it's kind of od i'm about to take a little minute and get myself together before i go work out until then i will meet you guys at the gym every day i'm hustling hustling like no. <laughs> but y'all let me tell you something because um i am a girl that neglects their upper body right like my arms my back and all of that so i said this year i need to really really focus on working that upper body getting them arms strong that back strong all of that good stuff like i just really want to take my time to really enjoy and learn how to work out each and every muscle in my body okay so do not be afraid if you got to sit down and do your arm workouts, do that. Okay? 
Because over here, we're, we're trying to challenge ourselves. We are trying. Okay, that's all you can do is just try. If you don't try, then you won't know. But if you try, then it's like, okay, I can do this. If not, if you can't, then that's fine. But over here, we like to try. So try with me. Let's work up. I said let's work up. <laughs> let's work on our upper body. And let's just enjoy the process. Because everything is a process when you start off you're not going to be perfect i'm pretty sure my form was probably terrible at half of these shits but yeah you gotta try so let's try it you might like it We have made it back from the gym. Yo, I'm super proud of myself because I can knock off all of my rings on Notion. Did our workout, we had breakfast, and then next is to sleep in the shower. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make my food because um boy, watch out. Anyway, so yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and make my cauliflower for a rice. With my chicken and broccoli, something simple, quick, easy. I ain't gotta think too much. You just do. But yeah, yo, I'm trying my best to get as much footage as far as like me working out. But I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit self conscious about these angles and how I look. Cause I can't even say that we just go see and then like I literally almost bust my ass in the gym thank god nobody was in there because that would have been embarrass embarrassing like what mm. let's go ahead and cook this meal so I can eat and sleep ain't that right so you can stare at me eating my food per usual You know one thing I'm realizing like as I'm doing stuff or not well I don't say doing stuff but like as I'm like filming myself or like cook and then editing and stuff like I'm really finding the joy back into cooking like mostly like cooking healthy recipes and like they are actually tasting really good and I'm saying like I can't cook like that's not ne that's never that but it's just like really enjoying like I'd rather stay at home and cook and go out and to, then go out to eat at a restaurant like that like that means a lot to me because like usually like I want to go out to eat every fucking where but like no like if I see something that looks good whether it's on Instagram TikTok whatever I want to go back home and go to the store and make it and I don't know I just really like to see what I'm putting in my own food I don't know y'all but like i think i'm really getting into that home cook era i never really had that era before the different era and i'm, I'm really enjoying it <laughs> All right, so I got to let the people know, okay? Buyer beware when it comes to frozen chicken breasts. Now, me, usually, I'm not a person that gets frozen chicken breasts, but I was like, fuck it. It can't be that bad. It's not bad. It's not bad. But 100%, I can tell the difference. So, I didn't really care for it. Is it good? Absolutely. But will I buy it again? Absolutely not. So, with that being said... 
um if it works for you it works for you if it don't then don't force yourself so this is the first time and the last time that i will get frozen chicken breast but it cooked really good it's just i can tell the difference but yeah just for those that are curious when it comes to frozen chicken breast don't um try it you might like it but me i don't so yeah never again <laughs> Are you looking my back? Um, January 6th is currently 7.40 a.m. I just got back home from work. I'm not going to lie. Today was rough. Well, yes, last night was rough. Um, just for reasons, work-related reasons. I'm not even going to go into details. Who fucking cares? Um, but yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead tired. My body is still stole. Ugh. My body. You wanna get fucked up? Okay, so my body is still stored. That's why I keep saying store. My body is still sore. Um, especially like my upper back. I don't know what these muscles are called. I gotta look it up. This part, shoulders, arm, all of this knee is sore. So yeah, I'm 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 I feel beat the fuck up. I'm not gonna hold you. I feel beat up. I just feel like I would get such a better like workout if I was able to go to like a real gym, like in some of my old videos. But the thing with that is filming and going to the gym as a fat black woman already gives PSTD. Then going to the gym as a fat black woman with a bunch of fit people trying to record and be the street and not be like getting people in your wet in your view it's a whole fucking process so i salute those women that are able to do that um because that shit is hard yeah i'm about to fix my breakfast uh, that right pup pup you a stinking dog Yo, bitch, I'm fucking tired. <laughs> First and foremost, this workout was not it, okay? It was a struggle workout. First of all, there was a whole bunch of people in the fucking gym out on a Friday. Don't know why. So, I'm trying my best not to get people in shots. I filmed, I filmed what I could, got what I could, but yeah, it's annoying. Um, going to the gym when you're trying to film shit, but maybe that's my fault. I went, I got around, I went 10, like 10 or something, and it's 10.48, so like, I think it was like 10.02 or something like that. So I did what I could, I was about to get on a treadmill, but then I saw a bug, and me and bugs don't. It, we don't mix so i had to go and it wasn't like a i don't know i don't know if it was a bee or a fly but i just i didn't feel like getting to the specifics of what i saw i just knew i saw it and i just had to go so i had i didn't even get to do my fucking cardio but i was just i don't know i was in the mood i just did what i felt like i could do i lifted weights and you know i got a little sweat and it like much a little bliss a little gleam but um I just wasn't feeling it today, but I tried my best. That's all I really can do is try my best. I'm just trying to go through life doing my best. I'm not even really focusing on counting calories right now, at least not right now. I'm just, I'm 
focusing on the routine that is it and that is all like i really want to make this as simple as possible and then on top of like you know trying to document it for myself and for others and like sometimes like as i'm filming and thinking and stuff i'm like why the fuck am i doing this but i have to keep reminding myself be the girl that you needed when you were younger okay or or not even yeah younger going you know growing up all of that good stuff you know what i'm saying because it's a repeat it's a repeating cycle i'm not the only one that had that is going to have the same um troubles going growing up and just dealing with a lot you know what i'm saying so I, I do what i do for myself but i do it as well to fill in that void fill in fill in that gap fill in you know that missing piece for some others day that may that might need you know the same motivation that i wish i had when i was younger so yeah that's that's literally the 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 basic of why i'm on youtube why i do this why i do that yeah because i'm bored i like filming shit it's fun you know saying it give me something to do but at the same time more but just like me on the front scene what you talking about <laughs> i'm trying to say it proper and i just don't give a fuck like there needs to be more beautiful black girls on the screen doing what the fuck they doing you know showing something you know so yeah i feel a little bit accomplished i just wish i was able to like do my full workout but y'all i get ptsd i don't even know if i'm saying the right thing whatever I, I i get anxiety let's say that <laughs> sometimes when i'm filming because i'm like trying to watch myself trying to look at how i try to make sure I, I don't look crazy in this scene try to make sure i don't look crazy on that scene try to make sure again again make sure the light look crazy don't look too too crazy it's stressful it's stressful it's stressful it's stressful um <laughs> but you know it's for a purpose right it's for a purpose pause so i i just have to keep going and i'm tired and you know this week is almost over and i'm like giving myself a pat on the back because i come come a long way and then also too i saw something on tiktok i'm gonna try to put it on the screen somewhere but pretty much um this girl saw another girl do this thing where she went on canva and made a bingo board so um if i got time tonight at work i'm gonna make me a bingo board on canva and pretty much what um they what the whole ob objective of it is to you know write all of your goals all of your, all of your yeah all of your goals that you want to accomplish in 2023 and put it in a you know bingo board and, you know it'll gotta be in no order just sporadically on a bingo board i'm gonna put on a video i'm gonna put a video so i can see it i'm turning my new year's resolutions into a bingo card do y'all know how fast i did this i think you literally cracked the code now like for real I decided to do a five by five because i do have a bunch of things that i do want to accomplish this year but literally right after i saw this tiktok i immediately went to canva and made a bingo board and y'all i accomplished my first thing <laughs> You put the uh the stuff that you want to accomplish in 2023 on the bingo board and you do your damn hardest to get bingo. And not just one bingo, as many bingos. If you if you want to do the full board bingo, y'all know <laughs> how the full board bingo go. <laughs> yeah, so if you want to get the L shape up, down, diagonal, do it all. Do it, you want to fill up the whole board, that's that do that too but i'm going to do that as well because i think that is so cute i think that was such a clever idea because it's like playing a game with yourself betting on yourself like if that ain't motivation i don't know that bingo that bingo board is really it's really the new i feel like that's probably one of the best um trends i've seen so far like i really love the side of tiktok that's all about men manifestation and just goal settings and is any and every way to achieve a goal the, you're like changing your mindset i really appreciate that tiktok because that side of tiktok for really, you yeah. enough rambling my day is done so we're at day i don't know we're on day five yeah, day five is done. Two more days. And yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow on Saturday. 
Good night. Buenas noches. Good morning, y'all. I should have put on my gym clothes, but I'm gonna put them on in a minute. I just wanted to show you guys real quick. This has nothing to do with fitness, but at this point, I, I think I'm just gonna make this a weekly vlog because I just said, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going with the vibes, which isn't always great, but um, yeah, y'all. So I am trying to slowly like get rid of all of my old like undergarments so socks underwears bras um pretty much you know replacing because it's like i feel like it's a new year any new thing so right now i'm starting with bras so i'm collecting as many bras that i can that fit comfortable look good are very supportive um i don't know how many bras i think i want to have because I feel like bras are such a topic that <laughs> I don't really discuss and I don't really see too many women discuss like especially like when you're on the plus size and you're dealing with expensive bras and bras that aren't like Victoria's Secret <laughs> cause like yeah I, I that's not that's not me I don't I don't fit none of those bras but yeah so I got some bras from Tori I only got two because I had to measure myself and just make sure um, they're good. Well, I had ordered one before and I love that bra. I'm going to put um, a picture of the bra on the screen so you guys can see it. But I ordered one bra at first and I was like, ooh, I love it. And I'm mad because they had other colors, but of course they're sold out. But um, I just fell in love with this bra, so I had to get another one. And then I got one other one to try and then if I like that one... I'm going to get more. So the first one that I want to show you um, is called the T-Shirt Lightly Lined Smooth Ultimate Smoothing Bra. Yes, I got mine in a 48 WD. Like I said, I have a big ass back. Um, and I need all the support I can get. Okay. Because, yeah. But what I really love about this bra, what, well, what I love and hate, first of all, it's a front close front opening closing bra so that means like you have to get your size it's not like the regular bra where you have like the little line of hooks where you can adjust if you feel like your bra is too tight or if it's too loose but yeah this is like the front of the bra is what it look like yes <laughs> it's so big <laughs> yeah um and then this is what the back looks like. This is why I fell in love with this bra. Like, do y'all see the the coverage is going? The coverage gives. It gives what the fuck I needed to give. Okay, this is for the girls that suffer with like I don't know. I'll call it fat back, back attack, yitties, whatever. I don't know what these what these people call it. I just call it fat back. But yeah, I love this bra. So I have it in black and then I have like this peachy. What is this color called? It's called Rose Dust. But it's like a nude. It's like your 
it's not too too new but it got like a little pink tone to it and then i got this other bra okay so this is the wire free plunge lightly line smooth 360 back smoothing bra i have, this is like my first time wearing bras from tori so this is what it's giving in the front so this it's like a plunge bra i probably should try them on but i don't know so this is what the front is looking like the color is kind of off i don't know the camera's acting weird and this is what the back look like so this one isn't as thick but it's still thick enough you know what i'm saying to give some type of coverage and support for my back but let me do it this way i know it's upside down but i just want to show y'all the back so yeah this is how the back looks so it's pretty wide um like lengthwise and yeah so so I got these three, I got three new, three new bras so far. That means three bras are going to fucking trash. I already know which ones because they're already gone. <laughs> and I'm probably, I don't know the total. I think I was, I, I want to have like 10, 10 new bras, 10 brand new bras. So I'm going to, if I try this one and I like it, then I'm going to go and try to get the rest of the colors of the size that they have available um and yeah but i'm about to get ready to go to the gym <laughs> go get her and um i'll be back i need you guys to be aware be aware that everything is jumping jumping bunching jumping okay but this is my reality and this is a lot of people reality so before you comment something just know everything is jumping bumping jumping okay so you can't say nothing that i already said because i see it i know i know what it's doing thank you that's all i had to say <laughs> all right so fyi if you don't already know i don't have the strongest core but i will say for those that are like true beginners in like doing any type of core workout i do recommend planks and when i mean planks like basic planks like the basic of the basic of a plank that you can do like it's probably the easiest because it takes a lot of pressure just off of your core you know using your arms and your legs it's a full body workout at the same time your core is pretty much target the most but yeah y'all like go at your own pace if you can't do planks um there's other like core workouts that you can do but like for me my personal favorite is planks because you can do as many as you can like you can do 50 10 second planks like you could just plank until you can't plank no more so yeah so in your next workout just try you a plank or two or three or four <laughs>
I know what y'all thinking. Like, why is it so brown on the top? But it's not burnt. I don't know why it's brown at the top. I'm guessing the cheese and the cream cheese just made like a little crust. But it's not burnt, as you can see. It's very much giving moist. It's very much giving creamy, cheesy. And when I tell you it was so fucking good, that stuffed salmon is good as fuck, y'all. Like... Don't knock it till you try it. I know there's a different way to make stuffed salmon. I just made it the way that I felt like making it. But yeah, try it. It's good. And it's not burnt. Thank you. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, as you can see, I'm about to go to bed. I didn't make my food. I made um some stuffed, like spinach stuffed salmon, whatever. You know, the stuffed salmon. Um... The top of my salmon looked like it was burnt, but it's not burnt, it's just like crispy. Because like in the inside it was still like creamy and all of that stuff. I guess because of the cheese and the spinach. Because I used, um, I used the frozen chopped spinach instead of like fresh spinach. Because like my grocery store did not have any spinach. Oh my god, my stomach hurt y'all. I'm not gonna hold you. <sighs> I don't have water. I love my cup. I just it's missing a it's, it's missing a handle. Ugh. Sometimes when I think of stuff, I don't realize until after I purchase it. I'm like, dang. But yeah, I'm about to go to bed, and I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> don't mind me, y'all. I look crazy. I literally fell asleep and I woke up because I, I have an alarm set up like at um, 11 in the morning. At first I was like, oh, I'm about to just lay down for a few little minutes. Yeah, my alarm woke me up. I was like, damn, I didn't even feel, my, I didn't even feel myself go to sleep. Yeah, so. I just got back up um, and doing my laundry so I can head that out the way. There's one last thing I gotta worry about. And then I went downstairs to get my package and I'm about to open up, which I believe is my phone mother. I was debating if I wanted to try it today, but I'm just gonna wait till tomorrow since I'm going to the gym tomorrow. Cute. Yeah, it doesn't look big, so I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do. We're gonna try it and see. But um, this is the foam roller. Supposed to be a foam roller. This is pretty small, right? I mean, I know my back is big. But what the fuck? <laughs> I'm gonna it. Because I wanted it to be long. And I should have really read the description. I mean, nonetheless, it's sturdy. It feels really good, though. Like, I know this is going to... I don't know. Let me not judge it right now. But it has, like, the ridges. I don't know if you guys can see it. It has, like, these different ridges that are good for, like, circulation, massaging. So, I don't know. I have to see. I try to look up some tutorials on foam rolling. Why is it so? It needs to be longer. Like it needs to be like two of these. I'm confused. That's what happens when I get shit based off of color. But I'm gonna give it a shot. And if not, then I'm about to find me another one. Hey Siri, set a timer for one hour. One hour starting now. You got that deep for me Girl, your love is deep for me I'ma make you go weak for me Make you wait a whole week for me I see you watching TV I know you want it, see me I know you need it Trouble, Lord, trouble, Lord You want it all, you do not know You need love, I need something You want this, like it wants you Know that booty gon' do what it want to Can't hit it one time, look at I know you see this red, red, red on me now come and get high, 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 high. 20, 40, 80 off the trap Hit it with the rap Put it on the map Hit me right back Call me when you wanna get high, 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 high. 20 Mantana with the rest I'll be G on my bag Double G's on my dash Nigga, I'm bad I'm bad Baby, you wanna get high, 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 high.
hello everyone what is up my good people y'all i'm just not feeling it today like i'm tired and i'm ready to be off of work like today's monday i did a little bit of like my workout i did mostly like for my back and biceps i was supposed to do some cardio but i just was not feeling it low-key tired and i'm just moody and irritable and stuff and i don't know maybe i'm gonna come on my cycle but i just not feeling it but i went even though it was like for a quick little minute i think at most like 30 minutes i had set my my timer for like an hour to like get my clothes and stuff together like folded up and put my clothes up but like even that is irritating me because now my dresser is broke so i need to get a new dresser it's just like that's how i feel like what the fuck so i'm about to just shower and i guess go to bed um i might eat a little snack before i go to bed because right now it's 10 15 10 15 a.m i have to let y'all know if it's a.m or p.m because you will never know with these curtains but yeah i'm about to call it a day or night or whatever because it's technically morning but it's like my night time yeah i just not feeling it like i'm tired like this week was really rough surprise not surprising though not surprising um i'm just ready to like i don't know be at my goal <laughs> without going to work like i'm fucking tired like why do i have to feel like i'm going so hard every fucking day you know what i'm saying like gotta go hard gotta go hard gotta go hard but when can i fucking reach my goals only only goal that i think i reached that i'm like okay yay finally well it's not really a goal but i had like a little task that i wanted to do i finally finished my bingo board but that's just the beginning making the board is one thing completing the board and getting a bingo it's another right so i made my bingo board let me show you guys really quickly um, focus focus so yeah this is what it looks like my goals for 2023 you know closer yeah so um i finished it and i love it like it's mostly social media based i got a few things here and there that isn't necessarily um and then i have like weight loss stuff of course because your girl forever trying to lose weight and a little random thing like one random thing on here i have is to learn how to swim because i don't know how to swim like i should know how to swim I thought that was um, something that I know I can get a bingo on. Like, taking swimming lessons, that don't take much. But, actually, yeah, no. That does take a lot. Because I got to find some. I got to pay for some. I got to go to them. So, yeah, I'm lying. <laughs> but I do want to learn how to swim by the end of 2023. And I want to learn how to do everything. Like, honestly, like, I want to learn how to ride a bike. I want to learn how to swim, roller skate. I know y'all thinking what type of childhood did I have. Clearly, I didn't really have a good childhood. Because I didn't learn how to do none of that shit. Because for the longest, I was the only child. You know what I'm saying? So, you know how that go. So, I did that. And then, because today is my Friday. Even though it's Monday, I know it don't make sense. But if you work a, 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 a stupid ass job like me, your day, your off days is you don't get the weekend put it like that so um <laughs> i didn't have to have a fucking spare the moment but like yeah i feel like i feel that way today about this job i might not feel the same way tomorrow i might feel even worse tomorrow but you know for right now i i stupid ass job i hate it i want to go <laughs> um but yeah so 
today is my Friday. So after tonight, I'm off Tuesday and Wednesday. So I got time to do whatever my heart desire. Definitely going to end it here because this is it. After this is nothing else. <laughs> I'm just preparing for my weekend. So I will see you guys um, in my next one. Alright y'all, y'all stay cute. Please stay cute for me because I'm trying. But you already know me. I'm going to be cute forever. Re whether I feel it or not. This gal is cute and so are you. And I'll see you on well, week two. Yeah, I'm a rapper.